In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a frame design using a PDF document. I'm using Photoshop CS4. I'm going to use a Graphic Extras Swirl Shape PDF document. And I'm just going to go now to File, Place. I'm using Photoshop CS4 but I could use CS5 or even CS3 etc. As well as other applications. Place. And I'm going to use, now it's Pack 62 from Graphic Extras. Very six, but I could use any of the other designs. Comes up with a dialogue showing you the design. You can set the thumbnail size at this point. Click OK. Fills up most of the document, so I'm just going to resize it. It's a smart object or vector, so you can resize it in any way you want. So I'm just going to fill that. Now, once I've done that, I'm just going to go to the Select, Load Selection. Just going to use the transparency, just set there. Click OK, so you will now see the selection. Just go to the layer. Just going to actually delete the, the black part, I don't want that obviously. I could keep it, but I'm not. So. Yes, the selection is still there. Now I can just go fill white. Now, of course, I could have uh, didn't need to really delete the the other one, but I've just deleted it because I don't want the other the other layer. So it's all now on one single layer. Right, done that. Of course, you could actually fill it with the design. I'm just going to select gradient. Still see the actual underlying design there. It's a quick and easy frame. Obviously, you could use different. Uh, PDF documents to create different frame designs and as, as they're vectors they can be of any size so it's not not limited to a standard frame document you would uh, have say a JPEG, JPG file.